Welcome to the Fredericksburg Center for Creative Arts, FCCA, Frederick Gallery, and the October 2021 Exposure Unlimited 35th Anniversary Show. The FCCA is open Monday, Thursday and Friday, noon to 4, Saturday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., and Sundays, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. We have extended hours on first Fridays from noon to 8.30 p.m. This first Friday is October 1st, and some of the artists will be here to welcome you to their exhibits. Thank you to David Kennedy, our videographer. We can provide our artist talk video for public viewing on FCCA social media, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, with a link on our website at www.fccagallery.org. During October, the FCCA Members Gallery is exhibiting a collaborative team photography exhibition featuring Penny Parrish, Sue Henderson, Fritzy Newton, Lee Cochran, and Norma Woodward. You are invited to visit our exhibitions in person to enjoy the original art in our historic home, the Silversmith House, circa 1785, where art and history meet, located at 813 Sophia Street in downtown historic Fredericksburg. The October Exposure Unlimited 35th Anniversary Show provides this regional group of seven artists the opportunity to exhibit their recent work and to celebrate their continuing collaboration. The participating artists are Jimmy Butler, Tarver Harris, Kathy Herndon, Joan Limbrick, David Lovegrove, John Nichols, and Bob Worthy. The spokesperson for Exposure Unlimited this video will be Kathy Herndon, one of the founding members of Exposure Unlimited. Kathy? Hi, I'm Kathy Herndon, one of the original members of Exposure Unlimited. And what I would like to do is uh, read you a little bit of the history of our group since we are celebrating our 35th anniversary with the show here at the Fredericksburg Center for the Creative Arts, which all of us have been involved in over the years at one time or another and still. Exposure Unlimited was started in the winter of 1986 when John Nichols Jr. approached Fredericksburg area artists to seek members for an exhibition group. Originally formed as Art Shop, the group's first venture began that summer as a co-op in the middle gallery of the Silversmith House, FCCA. By August of that year, the group transitioned into its present form. No longer a co-op, the name Exposure Unlimited was adopted by the group. Early exhibits occurred at local community colleges and at the Fredericksburg Fine Arts Festival exhibit, which was held in the DuPont Galleries at Mary Washington University. In the spring of 1988, the group returned to Fredericksburg Center for the Creative Arts, FCCA, with an exhibit entitled Risk Takers. Exposure Unlimited would return to FCCA for their 20th, 25th, and 30th anniversary exhibits, and now in October of 2021. The current membership will celebrate 35 years of exhibitions and camaraderie with their 35th anniversary exhibit here. One of the year's memberships in the group has changed, but many of them are still the founding uh, members who continue with the group, such as Kathy Herndon, John Nichols Jr., and Bob Worthy. And now I would like to introduce you to Bob Worthy, who is going to read a list of the earlier members that we had. Thank you. Past members of Exposure Unlimited in alphabetical order. Dreema Apperson, Cheryl Bosch, Elizabeth P. Butler, Betsy Carter, Claudia Dunaway, Peter Frederick, Joan Gardner, Betsy Glassy, Nan Hayde, Vicki McCracken, Heidi Reeses, Retta Robbins, Paula Rose, Mo Schiff, Laura Shepard, Kelly Wilburn, and Alex Zurin. Hi, 
Uh, this is Kathy Herndon again. I will be talking a little bit about each person that's in the group and one of the pieces that they have on exhibit at the Center for Creative Arts. The first piece I'd like to talk about is Jimmy Butler. And the title of this piece is Par Paramnesia. And it is out of maple, steel, altered found objects, and U.S. currency. Uh, Jimmy works with uh, found wood, and actually he was asked by someone, well, where do you find your wood? And he said, I don't find the wood, the wood finds me. Which is exactly right, because Jimmy is very um, into finding the right pieces of wood. And then I believe he has said that he makes the figures from the shape of the wood and the colors that he gets, and whatever ideas he has that comes into his head but they are exquisite and there are about five or six of them here so if you get a chance to to see his ex figures you, you'll appreciate them our next member of the group is actually our newest member tarver harris tarver has been working this year in trying to get more depth and texture in her abstract creative paintings this piece is called bubble up and she has used uh, acrylic paints to make black, white, a little bit of red to make the pink, and then she goes back and adds chalk and charcoal and pencil squiggles and marks to bring out more of the excitement in the way that she paints. The next artist I'd like to talk about is David Lovegrove. David actually teaches art at James Monroe High School, but he makes wonderful art. And a lot of his art starts with photographs. And his eye for the type of photography that he does with the natural objects or the man-made objects that are just local everyday things that you see, he then, after he looks at the photography and, and prints and sells some of those, he makes paintings that are based on the photographs, and we'll look at one of those. This is called Blue Railing Number One. So this is David's second piece, which is called Blue Railing Number Two. And from the photography, the photography that we just saw, he has gone to a monotype, which is a form of printmaking. And you can see that it is abstracted, but it still resembles the railings that we saw before, adding so much more strength to both of those. Our next artist is John Nichols Jr., the founder of Exposure Unlimited, basically. John has been working with all kinds of areas of spatiality. In fact, this is called picturing Three areas of spatiality, number two. Here's number one, number two, and number three. And here we have my, one of my pieces, which is actually a grouping of six that are about the COVID pandemic. I have been continuing working with circular abstracted pieces. These represent more um, definite circles but the first top three, one, two, and three, are called um, FTC peak one, peak two, peak three. And FTC means flattening the curve because this is what happened at the beginning when we all started and things were just getting worse and worse and worse. So I tried to have the circles go all over the place and just be wherever. And there is a Polaroid that's in the middle of each one. It's actually a uh, bad Polaroid that is the pieces that were spit out but then did not have any kind of an image or anything on them. And this is basically what happened when they came out. And I enjoyed those pieces and it made me think of a peak of something going up like mountains. And so that's why I put those in there too. The bottom three are number four, number five, and number six. Week W-E-A-K, which is when we finally got the vaccination and it started going down. 
So that was a positive thing. And finally you get to the end where it's like the bullseye and it ended up being a perfect uh, solution was to take the vaccination to help calm down the pandemic. Joan Lindbergh's Earth Angel is a wonderful piece where she's been using a lot of gold and creating these magnificent earthy natural angels. And you can see that she also has a representational rabbit in here with it that she is holding. Um, Joan's work makes the viewer create a story of who those people are, what they are doing, where they are, what they represent, but they are all about emotion and life. I would like to read what Bob Worthy says about his work. I'm making acrylic and mixed media paintings that are composed of many layers of paint and texture, creating a movement of surface that appears to be found rather than constructed. They suggest a feeling of time having moved on with understated pops of color, providing energy to the dreamy compositions. And as you can see, this piece entitled Dark Sea answers to all of that.
Thank you to Exposure Unlimited for this fantastic exhibit, and especially to Bob Worthy, uh, Herding Cats again this yes. year. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> and to Kathy Herndon for providing the uh, narrative about the artist's work. And we hope to see Exposure Unlimited again in another five years. Thank you, Carol. We hope to be here in five more years. Have a good evening, and don't miss visiting in person this wonderful exhibition. Thank you. The Fredericksburg Center for the Creative Arts, where art and history meet.